All right, everyone. It's time! Get ready for it. So it's seriously like the first day of school today for me. Last night I was trying to get to sleep and I couldn't get to sleep because I was so excited for waking up in the morning and coming out here and actually doing the first mow of the season. That's right. I can't tell you how excited I am for it. I've been sitting inside since last November. And of course there's been a few days here and there, but this is an exciting time to be outside. I even went a little crazy today. No sweatshirt, going all in, all for it right now. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Yeah, this is it. I'm all out of sorts today. I'm trying to get back in the groove of things. I forgot to check the bed knife, reel to bed knife, and I also want to set the height of cut. Let's start at about 0.6. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. So the question today is if it's possible to spend nearly an entire day mowing. I'm going to try, I will tell you that. Double, triple, quadruple cuts, whatever it takes. Are you serious guys? Are you serious? All I have to say is this right here. Today's March 30th. I'm so extremely thrilled with how this is looking. Even better than coming out of last year. We had a pretty mild winter this year. I think that's probably part of the reason, but look at that. I also made a good choice today. I'm not wearing a sweatshirt because I'm already getting quite warm out here. Time for some more stripes, another mow on this thing. Why don't we do a triple cut? Then we're gonna be moving on to the sissy ryegrass and I think that's gonna look even better once we get that thing striped today. Through the ash, through the flames And it burns like a fire in my veins Alright, here it is. So good to be back. Thank you guys so much for following along and coming back for the 2020 season. So much more stuff coming here. So also, I should probably mention that if you're interested in this shirt, I do have it available on my website, except for this little sort of uh, lawn goals thing here. I didn't really like the placement of it and I couldn't change uh, with the company that I'm using really where it went. So if you are interested in the shirt, I'll just have the Let There Be Stripes on there and you can check that out on my website. I will have a link in the description. That's better. I don't have any words, just just take a look. I absolutely love the striping of ryegrass, there's just nothing like it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now I've successfully been mowing my side yard and front yard about 3,000 square feet for nearly three hours. And am I mad about it? No, I'm not. But this white self of mine right now, maybe you should watch out for getting sunburned on this first day with really nice weather. So I got a confession to make here. This isn't the first mow on the backyard. I've been taking it down with the manual reel a couple times in the last week or so. I just wanted to see how early I could do it and if it would really work out for me. And so far, it's worked out perfectly. So I've been using that manual reel at about an inch. I've noticed that it's already getting pretty thick to where I'm sort of seeing that wave look. So today, I think I'm going to take the Swordman on it. so here's where I'm at. I was probably at an inch and a half or so maybe on this grass that I haven't cut yet whatsoever this season so I'm cutting at around 0.8 right now. It was making it through that okay but of course that's quite a bit of a difference there in cut especially all at one time and I also have that roller on the front so it's rolling the longer grass down and then it has to try to come in and cut it. So it's working but I think I'm gonna take the manual reel at one inch that doesn't have that front roller over it, this section here that I haven't cut yet this season, and then I'll go over the whole thing with the Swordman. So here's some of that sort of wave that I'm talking about. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it just looks sort of choppy. That's just because I can't get the reel going fast enough to get through the thicker grass like you can with a power drill. So that's certainly not bad. It is extremely bumpy back here though, which I knew. So it just doesn't make it quite as much fun when it's so bumpy, but you can still, with those rollers, get pretty low and you'll be fine. I think you could easily probably get to three quarters of an inch with the double rollers and you wouldn't be scalping anything. So, that's that. So wow, what a day today and what an amazing day it was. Thank you guys so much for joining me. There's a bunch of new people joining here in the last few days as well, so thank you so much. There's gonna be a whole bunch of lawn care content coming very soon. Not just me mowing every day, but actually teaching you something. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time. You can open one anytime. <laughs> <laughs>